guys, what's up? It's Kat and welcome back. So today we are going to be decluttering and organizing this dresser drawer. You may or may not know I recently moved and don't worry for all those of y'all that have been asking a condo tour is coming very, very, very soon. I just don't have a lot of things yet and things are kind of still all over the place. I've been here for about two and a half weeks now. I still don't have a dining room table and my second bedroom is currently like a storage room. I have to paint it. But in some of my recent videos y'all have been seeing some little snippets of what it looks like. This is my bedroom if you didn't guess. I have been needing to clean out and organize this drawer for like I don't, I don't, for as long as I can remember. I wanted to take you along with my entire step-by-step -step routine on how I declutter and organize my clothing drawer. The specific drawer I'm doing today is my fitness clothing drawer, but this method and like organization little tips can work for literally whatever clothing drawer of yours it is. So keep that in mind, but I need to put my hair up. Once I edit this, I'm probably gonna look back and be like, gosh darn it, Kat, you shouldn't have put your hair up, but whatever, we're already here. And I'm about to start organizing, so whatever. And now that you know all of that information, let's get into the real reason that you clicked on this video, which I'm assuming is to see how to declutter and organize a drawer. Okay, so I opened my drawer and immediately you can see that it's kind of a disaster. There's just so much stuff and it's even more stuffed than it looks like on camera. Like I'm telling you, it was so packed and so full that I couldn't even move stuff around. Okay, so step one, is to take literally everything out of the drawer, whether it's a clothing drawer, a junk drawer, a food drawer, whatever kind of drawer it is, take every last thing out of it and put it in one pile in one space. That way you can visually see how much stuff you have. And this is kind of get you going to get you in the mentality of, okay, this is too much stuff. I need to declutter. And then you'll be in the mindset of figuring out what you don't need and what you can give away. Step two is to subcategorize your main pile, just so it seems a little bit more manageable to go through and declutter things that you may not want to keep. So what I'm doing is I have a leggings pile, a crop top slash top pile, a sports bra, a sports bra pile, and then in the back there I'm putting some of the long sleeve shirts that I'm going to be moving to my closet. And keep in mind this is not a decluttering step, it's simply a preliminary sorting step to categorize everything so that when you do go to declutter it'll be a little bit easier to figure out what you're working with, but you don't have to worry about deciding if you want to keep something or give it away in this step, just subcategorize each item or article of clothing. Okay, so everything is now in piles. We got sports bras over here. These are like shirts and tank tops or like crop top things. And then those are all my leggings, got a lot of leggings. And then these are a few shorts. And then these are some like long sleeve shirts for the gym. But I think those are gonna put go into my closet. Okay, now we are in the decluttering step. So what I want you to do is go through each section and in each section, take a bit of time on each piece, unless it's a piece that you're like, I know I wanna keep it or I know I don't wanna keep it. Give yourself a little bit of time to think about it. I'm sure a lot of y'all, if not all of y'all have heard of the KonMari method. And one of her biggest tips is to ask yourself if the piece of clothing or the item sparks joy for you. If it does, that's awesome. You should keep it. If it doesn't, maybe consider giving it away so that somebody who will get a lot of joy out of it can have that piece. And some other questions I like to ask myself are, if I didn't already have this piece and I saw something similar to it in the store, would I repurchase it? I think that's a super powerful question because it makes you really think about would you go out of your way to get it again? And if not, then it's probably not something that you care that much about. So again, it's better to give it to somebody else who will get a lot of joy out of it. And my biggest tip for those pieces where you're like, I really don't think I'm gonna ever wear it. I haven't worn it lately, but there's just something about it that I have a feeling I may wanna go back to it. So I shouldn't get rid of it just yet. My recommendation is that you take those items, put them in a bin and then store that bin under your bed or in your closet or wherever you store bins like that. And then put a post-it note on the bin that says if I don't open this bin by so-and-so date then I have to donate everything that's in it and I think this is super powerful because if you find yourself going back to it then okay that means that you were thinking about the pieces in there and it's a good idea to keep them because clearly you want to wear them but if you don't and you go back a year later and you realize that the date you set for yourself was six months ago then that's a pretty good sign that you are not going to wear those pieces anymore and it's a much better idea to donate them. Okay. 
Okay, so now I have even more detailed piles. These are all of my leggings and shorts. Like these are non-Gymshark, those are flex leggings, those are like the high-waisted seamless from Gymshark. Those are all my sports bras, these are crop tops, these are regular tops for the gym. And then over here is stuff that I really never wear, just taking up space, so I'm going to be donating that. I knew I definitely wanted to use some sort of drawer organizer to keep all of my clothes very neat, but I didn't know what, so I did some research on Amazon, looked at a bunch of different ones, and these are the ones I ended up purchasing. I can't remember what these are called, but I'll have them linked in the description box. They were pretty affordable and I think they did the trick just fine. So here I'm just taking the time to go through and fold each piece of clothing and put it into its little section. And I think it's important to remember that different folding methods are going to work for different kinds of clothing. So for example, my shirts, I rolled up for my sports bras. I just kind of folded them. And then for my leggings, as you can see, I'm folding them with smaller folds just because this was the method that provided me the most space and I was able to store the biggest number of leggings in this section using this method. So just take some time to find out which folding methods are going to be the most space efficient and the most efficient when you're actually looking in your drawer and what is going to make it easy for you to find what you need and easy to put it back and something that you're able to maintain every single time you put clothes back in the drawer. And then something else I like to try and do is if I find that I can't fit everything that I want to in the section, I'll go through again and think, okay, clearly I can't fit everything. So it's a good idea to try and see if there's something in here that I can get rid of that I'm really not that in love with. And I may have been second guessing before, which as you can see for me, it was these blue leggings that I had. So I decided to give those away, donate them, and then everything fits perfectly. And I know that everything I have in my drawer is stuff that I really do love and I really do wear. And this is always my favorite part of these organization videos when you could see the before and after. It's just so incredible to me how much better this drawer looks, how much easier it is to manage, and how much less time I spend picking out a gym outfit because I can clearly see everything that I have. If you watch until this part, comment yellow flower. I'm looking at yellow flowers that I have. Comment yellow flower if you watch this part. If you want more organization videos, click right up there. I got my playlist of all my organization videos. You can check those out and then some other videos and playlists if you guys are interested from me. And I think that's about it. So I love y'all so much and I will see you in my next video.